What's up guys, welcome to another video. This is Charlie Ling. Okay, so today I want to talk about the Alephium miners. What is Alephium? If you go to the exchange platform, you probably have not found this coin available so far. To me, I only found this coin available on gate.io. It's probably available in other platforms, but you really have to do some homework. Make sure you do not get mistaken because there might be some other coins that would like to pass for Alephium. So the short form of Alephium is ALPH. Alephium miner, ALPH miner. Why do we want to talk about this today? Because in the past one week, there are some miraculous things happening with this miner. So to talk about the Alephium miners, I want to cover three different brands, Gochiao, Antminer, and Ice River. Before we talk about the three different brands, I want to cover the background information. First of all, it's the Bitcoin halving. And second, it's timelines of a few different interesting Alephium miners. And thirdly, I want to cover some of the patterns. And lastly, I want to talk about the opportunities of Alephium mining or Alephium itself. In the beginning, I want to talk about the halving. Why is it so important? Because in the past few months, the cryptocurrency mining is almost like dead. Why? Because the Bitcoin halving means there will be 50% less Bitcoins mineable from the pools. The difficulty has increased by 100%. And the profitability of every miner is likely to decrease by 50% as well. The Bitcoin mining has almost become stagnant and it is almost only led by the enterprises. There is almost no opportunities for the home miners for Bitcoin mining unless you get the free electricity. For example, I heard that in Malaysia or perhaps Indonesia as well, people can steal electricity. And I heard that some of these people, they need emotion cooling because it will be very quiet. So the government and the authorities will never find it out. Because of the having of just a Bitcoin, it is not just the Bitcoin mining that gets affected. Somehow it affects the mining of all other currencies. Fortunately, not to the full level. But we have to admit it is easier to lose money than making money with mining. Because mining profitability has decreased so much, you have to find even cheaper electricity to stay afloat. And secondly, hosting can go wrong. If you give your miners to other people, things can go wrong. Or even if you set up your own mining farm, things can still go wrong. The electricity can get shut off. Miners can get broken. There are too many moving parts. And thirdly, machines can be too expensive. It is so hard to make money and it is so easy to lose money. Today, to make money, you have to gain unfair advantage. Without unfair advantages, you cannot make money. What is unfair advantage? I would say firstly, it could be earlier information than most other people. Let's say if you know about Caspa way before the Ice River launches their ASIC miners, if you use the GPU miners to mine Caspa, today you are a Caspa millionaire or billionaire. The second unfair advantage is cheap electricity. For example, like I said, People steal electricity, well, of course, that is illegal. But in some Middle East countries, people can get really, really cheap home electricity. And that is also considered a very unfair advantage. And thirdly, it's about getting the cheap machines. So today, crypto mining has just become so hard. And if anyone comes to you and say, hey, just do mining, don't think about it. You know, just mine, buy some machines and start mining. It's either they are fools or they are taking you as a fool. Today, cryptocurrency mining is for crazy people. Okay, if you're crazy, you do mining. By crazy, I mean, even if people tell you mining is so hard, you're still doing mining. That means mining is ready for you. And we have to admit, even some of the earliest people that made a lot of money from cryptocurrency or crypto mining were crazy. So are you crazy? I don't hope you to be crazy in a stupid way. I hope you can be crazy in a smart way. So even for myself, the past few weeks or months, has been full of doom and gloom because I thought like, oh, maybe mining is dead. But in the past few weeks, especially after I came back from the US trip, I changed my mind and changed my perspective. Bitcoin having did bring us some crisis, but it also brings us some opportunities. Even the word crisis in the Chinese language is wei ji. Wei means danger and ji means opportunities. Maybe the Bitcoin halving is not the end of mining. It marks actually a new beginning, a new beginning of POW community. In the past few months or the past one year, Casper mining is quite successful. And in just the past few weeks, we have seen a new baby, it's Alephium. Probably there will be new coins like Casper and Alephium in the next couple of new months or new years. 
Okay, so that's pretty much enough about Bitcoin having. And now let me talk to you about the timelines of the Ethereum ASIC miners. On April 22nd of this year, the Gochiao company released AL Box. The release price of AL Box was kind of ridiculous. And also the profitability of AL Box was ridiculous. The release price on the Gochiao website was 6,599 US dollars. And now thinking back, it was a ridiculous number because we're talking about that number for a very small box, literally a very small box. And that was just the price on the GoShare website. And in the secondary market or the scalpers market, the price becomes even more ridiculous. It is double ridiculous. It is like 14,000. I even talked to a GoShare distributor. They say, oh, we have an exclusive deal for you. It's going to be better. You know what it is their price? $13,600. Still ridiculous. The Alifian miner didn't draw much attention because the price was very high. And then the second ASIC miner came just like 10 days ago. On July 17th, the Gushell company released AL Box 2 with 720 giga hash. It's doubling the hash rate of the previous model AL Box. But the power efficiency is almost the same. It is just like stacking the power. And the price was again 6,000. 350 US dollars. It is still a ridiculous number, but something happened very quickly. After just two days, the Bitmain company Antminer, they released their Alifian miners, like out of the blue. They released the Antminer AL1 15.6 terahash, and the price is very high. It's $42,000, and the after coupon price is $29,000. And if you go to the secondary market, if you buy from the distributors, the price would be between $31,000 to $32,000, which is also a ridiculous number. But then something even more interesting happened almost immediately. What is it? After just maybe one day, the Ice River company released their Alifian miner as well, AL0. And then you know what happened? GoShell changed their price for the AL Box 2. The price became from $6,350 to $2,760, a miraculous drop, right? But it was not miraculous given, you know, the upheavals in the market. We had behemoth of ASIC manufacturing and miner. We also had a dark horse player of Ice River. And the price for the Ice River AL0 is a very interesting number. It is only $800. It looks a little bit familiar. When Ice River launched their first Casper miners, the price was also kind of low or at least affordable. It is not like Goat Shell and it's also not like Ant Miners. Both companies released ridiculous numbers to some extent. So I still have not finished with the background information. The third aspect I want to cover is the patterns. It's the patterns in the pricing of the ASIC miners. I saw two different strategies. One strategy is start releasing a miner at a high price and then go lower and lower. And the second strategy is start launching a miner at a low price and then go higher and higher. To me, to start high in the beginning and go low later is like kill the goose that lays the golden egg. In the Chinese language, we say kill the chicken and takes the eggs. To me, start high and go low later is like taking a short term perspective. Okay, the second strategy is to start launching a low price miner and then gradually go higher and higher. And which company is following this pattern? It's Ice River. Ice River has followed this pattern in the Casper miners. And this time they're doing that again for the Alifia miners. To me, different than kill the goose that lays the golden egg. This is like in the Chinese language, we say a little trickle flows for a long time. You don't start with the flood. You start with just a stream. And then the water just becomes bigger and bigger. In this pattern, I saw a view of long-term strategy. So that's pretty much about the patterns. The last aspect of background information I want to cover is the opportunities of Ethereum miner. The opportunity lies in the timing. Today, it's still early for Ethereum mining. It is a little different than the Casper mining. When Bitmain launched their Casper miners, Ice River has already enjoyed quite a lot in the game. The Bitmain company sort of reacted too slow, but still they launched a very powerful miner I remember that was KS3, 8.2 and 9.4 terahash. But today, for the Alifian mining, it is very different. The Bitmain company launched their Alifian miners a little bit too early than most people assume. And very immediately, Ice River came in the game as well. 
And when the Bitmain and Ice River company launched their Alifia miners, it means the followers and the clients of Bitmain and Ice River can be converted to Alifia mining. You can imagine how many clients and followers Bitmain and Ice River have. And even on my side, many clients have never heard of the coin of lithium. So it does mean there will be new opportunities for lithium mining or even for the lithium trading. If you are a crypto trading hobbyist. Okay, so maybe that is a little bit too much for the background information. I finally come to talk about how to choose the lithium miners. To talk about how to choose lithium miners, I have to cover three different brands, Gochiao, Antminer, and Ice River.